Welcome back again today, friends. I am gonna cook up a whole bunch of massive, large family freezer meals today. We are doing a bunch of freezer meal lunches. I'm cooking up my large family freezer meal pack 11. So many amazing goodies in this pack. So let me show you the groceries real quick on the table and then we will get cooking. Remember friends, right now for a limited time, my large family table community it is open, it has been well over a year, and this is the only time in 2021, the only time since, I think July 2020, that the membership doors have been open. So right now for a limited time, you can click the first link in the description below and join me for lots of super mega fun, including exclusive videos for me, live calls with me, also special guests. We have Ninja Mom experts, included paid products, so much fun going on over in the Large Family Table community. So join me now and click that link. We got several loaves of bread because I'm gonna do a bunch of grilled cheese for the freezer. Super simple prep, but it's actually, it's very helpful. Uh, tortillas, because we're gonna do bean and cheese burritos. We're gonna do English muffin pizzas. We're gonna do little egg rolls for the freezer. We're gonna do corn dog muffins. We're doing pepperoni and cheese pinwheels. And so many times with my large family freezer cooking packs, I use them digitally. I'll show them to you on my phone or on the iPad or even on my laptop. And here's what they look like. Also, you can print them out. I know that printing in color can be an issue sometimes for folks. It could just be more expensive, but you can also print in grayscale. I do that a lot. So here we go. We got English muffin, pepperoni pizzas, mini meatloaves, grilled cheese sandwiches, bean and cheese burritos, chocolate chip banana muffins, and I've got some overripe bananas just for this. Chicken and vegetable baked egg rolls, low carb turkey meatballs, corn dog muffins, pepperoni and cheese pinwheels, and then ham and cheese pockets. So it'll be a bunch of freezer meals for my family of 11. This is a nice freezer cooking pack to get done. There's Definitely some prep work that needs done, but some things like the shred the eight cups of carrots. I just did my uh, Mama Easy card and bought some matchstick carrots already. We will need to do that for the celery and the green onions. I already have minced garlic. Um, cook and shred six cups of chicken, so I'm gonna throw some chicken in the Instant Pot. Um, slice 24 hot dogs, that's easy. We'll leave the cream cheese sitting out just a little bit to soften. Now, my Walmart, they, the only thing they didn't have was the diced ham. So I'm gonna see if I have any in my freezer. I like to buy everything when I'm cooking these just to give you guys an idea of the amount of groceries that it takes to fill part of your freezer with one of these packs. But I might have some frozen ham in a freezer and we will go looking for that. Another thing is the, um, the turkey burger that I bought was frozen. So I needed to make those turkey meatballs today. Shoot. So I'm gonna try to work on defrosting these with the um, cold water defrost method and see how that goes. You cooking with your big spoon? Nice. That's so nice. I like it. Can we get this party started? Get all the turkey in here. Frozen turkey. Didn't they know I was cooking today? Now I'm gonna get my, my chicken. I'm going in the instant pot. i get those things in my room. My junk drawer. I almost said my drunk drawer. Why not? Get over here and stay hot. Okay. And then we always put a cup of water in the instant pot to build up pressure. So we have to prep a few things for this pack, but not not too too terribly much. Once I get these few things going, then we're just gonna jump right into the mini meatloaves and get those cooking in the oven. So we're making a bunch of those. Those are always such a big hit around here and convenient. I mean, this these are for lots of lunches, but those could even be for a dinner. Anything that I'm making that I'm calling lunches, you just use it however you need it. The English muffin pizzas, once my kids realize I'm making those, 
the requests are not going to stop. <laughs> so, lots of favorites in this pack for sure. Scratch my head, excuse me. Okay, pressure on. Okay, lovely. House is quiet for the moment. The sun is shining. It was supposed to have had lots of cold weather lately. Instant Pot singing to us. Uh, it's supposed to be about 52 today and sunshiny. So Travis just took a bunch of kiddos to pick up this small grocery order for me. And now they're outside doing all kinds of fun things. Trying to get my freezer cooking train a going before we get uh, infiltrated. <laughs> so. Alrighty, so not quite there yet, but this is from uh, the Big Batch Cooking Prep Guide. I got the celery chopped, I got the green onions chopped, and I got the carrots washed, and we will be cooking this here coming up whenever we do those baked egg rolls. Not quite there yet, but at least this, uh, this piece of the puzzle is done. Do you wanna switch over and work on the mini meatloaves? Cause I'll need the oven for that, and then later, whenever this chicken is done and we do the baked egg rolls, I need my little baby oven for that. So don't think you need, you know, two ovens or a bunch of ovens or any complicated cooking or kitchen equipment because my oven is like the size of a camping oven that would be in a, like a Winnebago or something like that. Probably smaller than the ones that come out in the big fancy RVs these days. Anyway, I can do it. I can usually do two pans at a time. I just, I just gotta get them going. While those things are going through the oven, we'll assembly line the English muffin pizzas. I was doing the ham and cheese pockets. No ham in the freezers either. Didn't think I had any, but again, I, you just, you know, sometimes you're like, is that still in my freezer or is it not? But I do have some pepperonis. I might be able to do pepperoni and cheese pockets. See where we go with that. Also, we have the pinwheels and we have uh, the burritos. And anyway, lot, lots of good things coming up. But I'm just going to move this to the side for right now. If it gets to be too long, it's just washed and prepped veggies. I'll put it back in the refrigerator. But we'll see how our time goes right now. I'm just going to move it on the other counter. Okay, so for these mini meatloaves, and again, fantastic, life-saving mama thing when I have mini meatloaves and I can throw a bag of fruit, throw the mini meatloaves, uh, any other little just snacky type lunch things on the table. But these can equally be served up for dinner. So um, I'm gonna use my, this is my next biggest bowl. Now, if you're new here and you haven't seen it, hold on, gonna be loud. Hold on tight. I also have my 30 quart mixing bowl. Uh, just love this thing. Got it off of Amazon. Several of you have asked me where I got this, or I might have gotten it. Now, sometimes when I say something, I'm not purposely being a liar. I just forget because I'm human, right? So 
So if I say I got this on Amazon and then in another video I say or show I got it at the restaurant supply store, I just forget. It's been a few years, okay? So apply grace liberally here. I recently got in trouble for saying something about strawberries and a banana. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I forgot about the strawberry. Anyway, 30 quart mixing bowl. I have seen them at the restaurant supply store. I have seen them on Amazon. And now I don't remember if I got mine at the restaurant supply store or on Amazon, but they are available and uh, super helpful. Really great, like if I'm doing four to eight, nine by 13 casseroles at one time. Putting this back in here. So this is my next size down. No, I, no, no clue. Do not remember where I got that from. But anyway, so I got the ground beef. I'm gonna put that in here. Now can I? I'm telling myself I can use this one, but then I'm looking, it's 18 pounds of ground beef. I think I need the bigger boat. Okay, okay. Bigger boat it is, bigger boat it is. I'm trying to be sensible, but no, it's just, it's bigger boat time. Uh, lots of folks ask me where I keep this bowl. So, beside my dishwasher, that's nowhere near my sink, but it doesn't matter because the kitchen's so small, so we can reach it easily. Uh, there's a double cabinet here and there's not even a shelf in it anymore. And so all the bowls just get stacked up there. I am going to rinse this out really quick though. So, a few weeks ago, I filmed, like many of you know, my large family meal of the, meals of the week videos, and just all my videos in general. It's usually a few weeks between the time I'm actually filming them and the time that they come out because it takes time between editing. Even though I have had an editor for several years now, I still have to watch through the whole thing. <laughs> and you know, spend, take hours to film takes the same amount of time to watch through them and then I send back a list of edits. Lots of back and forth going on. Um, I'm looking for measuring cups, that's what I'm doing. So, got my measuring cups, this one. See, this really is just like you're in my kitchen and we were trying to keep straight what it was we were talking about. That's what my friend Monica and I were just doing the other night. Alrighty, so, I am cutting open this ground beef. Now the recipe calls for about 18 pounds of ground beef, and I have four five pound rolls. So we will be doing 20 pounds of mini meat loaves. But again, let me tell you, there's not one person I get asked about picky eaters and what my kids eat and you know, just different questions about feeding kids food. Uh, there's not any of my kiddos except for Tobin, who's not quite eight months old yet. Uh, Tobin does not eat many meat loaves yet, but everybody else always enjoys these. And they can go in your freezer for about three months or so. We usually have spread them out over various lunches uh, well before that time is done. The kids will eat, most of them will eat two to three at a time, along with carrot sticks or celery sticks or you know various fruit, bananas, apples, different fruit we have. So anyway, yeah. Get the 30 quart mixing bowl if you're gonna mix 20 pounds of ground beef at one time. All right, so to make mini meatloaves, it's just like making a giant meatloaf. <laughs> so, just set that over there for a minute. I'm gonna get my eggs in here. And then we're going to also put in uh, minced garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, ground mustard, another Worcester sauce that I can never say correctly, or maybe I did. Did I get it that time? I'm gonna put some of that in there. And then also I just like to use old fashioned oats as a binder in my oatmeal, in, in my oatmeal, yeah, <laughs> as a binder in my meatloaf. You can use breadcrumbs or pork rinds or any other binders that you like to use in your meatloaf as well. And pretty much you can use my recipe for mini meatloaves or if you have a favorite meatloaf recipe, it's just really convenient to also make your meatloaves in muffin tins or I've been using a lot of these uh, silicone muffin liners. Really convenient and easy when you have a house full of kids or grown-ups 
who don't mind us a meatloaf. Um, I was also asked recently how I like these silicone liners. So I have been enjoying them uh, versus using the paper in um, traditional metal muffin tins. I got those a few years ago. Now they are flimsy in in the transport in the transporting <laughs> section of the cooking. So if I fill them over here. And then I have to take them to my oven and then get them in and out of the oven. Um, they just need something firm to sit on. So usually I pair these with just some kind of baking pan, reuse my baking pans throughout. And um, I think I have two more of these somewhere as well. But anyway, getting my bowls to rinse there. My baby is hooting and hollering in the background as well. Gonna do two tablespoons of ground mustard. Now this one, I think I have another one open, but here we are and the days are rolling, so mama's not stopping ground mustard. Sorry, sorry about your luck. Of course, it's a general eyeballing tablespoon, right? Good enough ground mustard. Okay, we got our onion powder and our garlic powder. Favorites around here, right? That one I have left the other lid off of. Sometimes I get in trouble for too little seasonings and other times I get in trouble for too much. So really it gets down to your family's personal preference in all things. There's the other lid for that. For me, this is 20 pounds of ground beef will be okay. And we're gonna do several teaspoon, tablespoons here. So little and I've got extra meat in here. It'll be okay. I will wash my spoon though. And then we're gonna put in our minced garlic. Now things will get pretty serious. Oh, I didn't put in my um, oatmeal yet, but I will. Just go ahead and get this part over with, right? There for a minute. It's like I'm going all in. It's a big commitment. Because many of you watch every single video for all these years, so I love you and I like you. Thank you. Anyway, several of you have asked where my updated wedding band has come from since I've been married, since dinosaurs roamed the earth. Anyway, it's from Costco. Mr. Travis got that to me last year. Big shopper at Costco where we get all the things and, what, and updated wedding bands too. So we just had our 23rd anniversary in July. Super good. And if you were around for the... Uh, hotel moving saga on our anniversary trip. We did get that credit back. That did all work out, even though it did take half a day of my life. <laughs> so we were victorious. So that is good, that is good. And if you're not sure of what that is referencing, um, you can look back in my most recent Mom of Nine Day in the Life video. It happened in real time in that video where we were supposed to get a credit and we didn't and it was months later and they were trying to take, I'm telling you the whole story now, trying to take the money from our anniversary weekend hotel that they were going to credit us because there was a sewage leak and they had to move us far away from the location we were trying to be at. Just a whole lot going on. Three months later, they tried to charge us. Mama didn't like that because that was not our agreement, and I had the agreement in writing, but even so, still took half a day of my life to tell 12 people that to get it all worked out how it should be. So, here we go. <laughs> so, I guess you don't have to go back and watch another video. You can watch this one. So, now meatloaf time. I'm doing mega meatloaf, right?
victorious. <laughs> Well friends, future Jay Morrell, uh, futuristically I'm here cooking these turkey meatballs. Don't worry, we get to it, we do it. Remember that right now for a limited time, you can join my very special Large Family Table community. Now what the Large Family Table community is, it's a special membership community that I created in January 2020 and who knew what 2020 was going to bring. So I have opened the doors of my membership two other times. I keep it where you can only join when I, you know, quote, open the doors because I get a flood of members and I like to just take care of them get them settled in and continue on focusing uh, while I scratch my eyebrow, excuse me, focusing on all the fun things we do in membership each month. So each month, actually the month before, I ask members thoughts and feelings and special requests and look at what's going on, look at what's happening seasonally, look at what we cover, look at what we'd like to cover, and I create a whole new membership module month. I invite a special Ninja Mom expert. We've had Ninja Moms that teach us about sourdough and canning and emergency preparedness, uh, homeschooling through the holidays, lots of instant pot tricks, low cooker expertise, so much these Ninja Moms have brought to enrich the Large Family Table community. I do anywhere from two to four, sometimes more. We could write a little poem about that. Exclusive videos just for the Large Family Table community. I also do videos by request. So I've had special day in the life videos and business videos and homeschool questions, more Q and A's. I even had some viewers at one point ask me if I could make and film several of their family's favorite recipes. So we had a month where members turned in their recipes and the following month I made and filmed several of those for the community. So that was lots of fun. We have an exclusive Facebook group just for members where we do scavenger hunts and bingo and questions and post pictures. Now our membership is not Facebook dependent. We have our own membership hub located at largefamilycommunity.com. That's where all the paid products and the videos and the recordings, the replays of the live cooking and the live calls and the interviews and such, those all live there. But as an extra special bonus, I also added the Facebook group later in 2020. And then what's really nice is if you join now to the Large Family Table community, you get access to all the content, to all the videos, well over 60 videos are already there. Tons of products are already there. Lots of interviews, lots of replays, it's all there. So you can click the first link in the description below and join now and go through all of the wonderful content that we have been doing for just about two years. In addition to having access to all the wonderful fun that we have already had, every month you get a whole new big download that I designed that again has exclusive videos, another expert, paid products, lots of fun, several live calls. Like this month, for example, we have three different live calls going on. Like tomorrow, I'm doing a live cooking segment just for members where I'm baking pumpkin in the oven, I'm baking, I'm doing pumpkin in the slow cooker, doing pumpkin in the Instant Pot. We're gonna be doing pumpkin pies. I'm gonna also work on some pumpkin banana bread. It's just pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. So that's an example of some of the fun that we have. So again, I'll let you be. Click that link and join me now because I won't be opening the doors to the community for quite a while. I feel like I have to do one more, one more flip. <laughs> it's like, I'm done, I'm mixed, no way, one more. Okay. Okay, meatloaf, for serious now. <laughs> All right, well, I've got meatloaf hands. Mm. Believe it or not, I do wash my hands all the time. I know it's not always in every video because different parts get cut out. But with my former years as a nurse, that's pretty much half of what we to do on a, sh on a shift is wash our hands. 
So, mama knows. Even if the video doesn't show, ha ha. Okay, so now we're going to get these in the oven. Okay, so I have this batch. They uh, cooled in the muffin pans a little bit. Just put them in here until I can repackage them, and people have been eating them already. And then over here, we have some more that are cooling that uh, will be next in our line, and then I'm going to get more in the oven. Two more pans going in. Also, just to let you know the, the science behind, I handle all this meat behind the scenes, is this big bowl here of the ground beef. I have a shelf in one of my garage refrigerators, and so in between making my pans, I bring this in and fill them, and then it goes back out to my refrigerator, which it will go back out here in a moment, since I just put two more pans in the oven. Just had another kiddo come up for more meatloaf minis made another plate of them. So, I will end up with some left for the freezer, right? And I will get these two pans ready and then I slide these in the refrigerator as well. So that way when the oven dings, I can slide these two in and keep my little meatloaf factory going here. And I know, random things on my counters. This cup of noodles was a, a tripod for me to set my camera on for one shot. Got my cooking spray. Got a globe up here, cause kids end up sitting at this counter and then there you go, get your geography in. We'll look at the globe, talk about that. So I'm gonna get these pans now, spray it down again. Probably don't need any spray. They got extra grease on them, but that's okay. I'm gonna get these next couple pans ready to go. Then I will have a happy helper get this out to outside refrigerator and I will get working on the next thing not sure what project to do in between of course my pack tells me but I'm thinking around serving dinner to my family here in the next hour probably um, today is daylight savings time day so I feel like okay we, we really are gaining an hour tonight, ha ha. We think, right? Always messes with you. But anyway, I might work on the grilled cheese sandwiches and then assess life in situations after that. Not shown in this is once I got the first two pans of meatloaf minis in the oven, my baby needed nursing. So I sat with him for about 30 minutes or so then threw some kids some other food. I had some uh, frozen protein bites in the freezer as well. I had taken out yesterday, so I sent those outside for all their good leaf and trampoline jumping. So, that is good for the kids. I know dinner times are coming. So, so I had one of my big boys bring up one of our, uh, I call them camping tables, one of our extra tables we have and set it up here so that we can eat at our table and I can still have my non perishable food items spread out. I don't want to pack all that up like my pepperonis and burritos and cans of refried beans and all of that can just sit at that table and I can feed people and keep on trucking. Oh, and for dinner tonight, I wasn't trying to count this prep ahead food for dinner. We are doing spaghetti because it has been a while since we've had spaghetti and everybody's always like, oh, spaghetti, it's amazing. So it is a favorite here. I have some Dreamfields pasta I'm gonna do with it. Naomi already cooked that ground beef earlier for me today. Got all our tomato sauce in there. So we're doing well. Okay, so this stuff I'm gonna get outside now. That has 15 more minutes moving forward. I'm 
Okay, so I'm just going to do half of these in one bag and half in the other. I do not flash freeze these or do anything special with them. And whenever I need these for lunches, we will just set them into the refrigerator from the freezer and warm them in the microwave. I got lots of ketchup fans, so we will eat them with ketchup. Here's our pan, it's gonna cool a little more over here. Now, <laughs> what I'm cooking right now has nothing to do with this freezer cooking. I'm getting my water going so I can deal with the Dreamfields pasta. Sauce is done. Hopefully in about 15 minutes, the whole family is gonna come in and I'll show you my little makeshift freezer cooking setup uh, right now too. Alrighty, random lunchbox on the table, but besides that, so our table's clear. We'll wipe it down and get it ready for dinner. Uh, random, I think that's a matchstick carrot. <laughs> but anyway, this is the table that I was talking about. This is one of our smaller ones. Um, it was actually outside, so there's still mud on it, but they supposedly hosed it off and towed it down for me, except for the legs. Good thing we don't lick the table legs, right? And <laughs> I had a, a kiddo stack the rest of the food on here, so you know how it's going to be. Realistically, I'm going to peck away at this, even though Mama thought I'd be getting it all done in one day, like the good old days, but almost seven we have to eat we have church in the morning so we'll see we'll keep pushing Alrighty, so down here, this uh, whole big Rubbermaid container full of mini meatloaves, I'm just putting this in my extra garage refrigerator this evening. I still have three dozen more to go. I've been keeping these in my house refrigerator, so anyway, just shuffling them around. We'll be doing more, getting them out of the house right now. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm getting my chicken that I had cooked in the Instant Pot. That is for the inside of the baked egg rolls. I'm not getting to those today, and that's okay because this is prep work. So when I get to the egg rolls, cooking the inside pieces, we're gonna do the vegetables separate. I'll show you all that. And add in the chicken, this part is done chicken and the fresh vegetables are also going in my garage refrigerator until I get back to that. I guess I'm just kind of <laughs> breaking up my chicken right now with these tongs a little bit. Easier to do it when it's warm um, than when it's cold. I know a great trick lots of folks like is you put your chicken in a bowl or in your mixer in your uh, like 
stand mixer or use your hand mixer to break it up. But for me, I usually don't do that, even though it's a well-known trick, because I'm like, I already have my tongs here, they're in my hand. But there's not only one right way to shred a chicken, right? We know this. This is certainly doing the job, though. Alrighty, so you can see that. That's some good shredded chicken. Six pounds, believe it or not. So we put that and the vegetables out. Also, simultaneously working on my large family dinner. Well, I tell you what, good thing we have daylight savings time here, at least in my part of the world last night, because I ended up not just on freezer cooking, but then I had laptop work I was doing until about midnight. But then I got to the, uh, then I had the joy of the thought that, oh wait, I didn't really stay up and work until midnight. We get to fall back an hour. I've gained an extra hour. Somehow I got an hour for free. You know, this time of year you can lie to yourself. But anyway, so we had church this morning and then we had some lunch with family out. Came back home, mean mama that I am, made my kiddos do some uh, afternoon organization jobs so we're set up for the new week. Now they're outside playing in the sunshine. It's okay, kids. My kitchen is clean in the minute. For, for in a minute for a minute uh-huh 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 empty sink but you know we'll fill that up and the sun's blinded me i'm not used to like the position of the sun this time of day but anyway so it's about four and i'm looking at my freezer cooking pack and all that still needs done and i've made some notes on my list to make myself feel better so i'll show you what's left and then uh we'll see how it goes from there Okay, so, and now this is in a plastic sheet protector so I can write on it. Um, I was just taking notes. We did those mini meatloaves yesterday, and I did a lot of things in between filming and showing those mini meatloaves. Good job, Mama. Anyway, so looking today, um, I'm probably not going to get all five of these oven recipes done in my baby oven starting at 4 o'clock this, this afternoon, but... I'm going to start with something simple like the corn dog muffins and while those are in the oven then I will pick something probably the grilled cheese sandwiches are the next easiest and then once we get those done maybe let's see here then after that maybe it'll be the chocolate chip banana muffins and then next easiest assembly <laughs> probably uh, all those low carb meatball those turkey meatballs are pretty quick in the oven also so we'll just go back and forth uh, bite-sized pieces right quite literally I will only think about these corn dog muffins and then these grilled cheese sandwiches and then we will go from there Alrighty, so I got, oh, we are headless Jamerelle. I guess I have to go way down. I am doing a split. Okay, well now I'm sitting on my knees. Uh, you know, what's camera adjustment? This is how we roll around here. So, got the first two dozen corn dog muffins in the oven. I'm already getting requests. Who cares about leftover spaghetti, haha, -ha, right? They're your favorite. So, let's get the other two hands full. Them, 
excuse me, gotta shut, oh, I do have a door shut, and my battery's about to die. So, be right back. Alrighty, so mama's also been filming a TikTok video. So if you're not filming for YouTube, if you're not filming for TikTok, if you're not taking recipe pictures, uh, this, this freezer cooking can go a whole lot quicker. But anyway, I got the last two dozen of the corn dog muffins in the oven. Mm -hmm. I ate two of them, so th there they go already. Uh, kids are smelling, they're like, oh man, hot dog muffins. That's what they call them instead of corn dog muffins. So, really wanna get to these grilled cheese sandwich prep because uh, that's nothing. But this oven in 10 minutes, it's gonna be free, right? And these muffins are cooling off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the chocolate chip and banana muffins next. This should be about four dozen or so. That way we're using our muffin trays and uh, tis the season and uh, that's how mama rolls, so. <laughs> okay, let me get the chocolate chip banana muffin things ready. Oh, and these bananas. I got two extra, let's just see. Now, I've been keeping soft bananas around because, of course, for Tobin, makes super easy baby food. Just take a banana, uh, mash it up with a spoon, add a little water to it. There you go, bananas. Or I put them in those little mushy nets. These bananas, they're still good for eating, but with, over the next few days, with between Tobin and everybody else, these will be gone. But these are definitely my chocolate chip banana bananas. <laughs> okay get away with using next to biggest bowl and I have flour over here okay hopefully that's about six cups pulling all my little resources together here So I don't confuse you, I'm using my one and a half cup measuring cup here. So that was a total of six individual cups.
Alrighty, so here are two dozen of the chocolate chip banana muffins. They are super yummy. Alrighty, so our freezer bags are filling up with all kinds of goodness. Alright, so different shirt, must be a different day. But uh, this evening I'm going to work on doing the prepped ahead grilled cheese sandwiches, which is two pieces of bread and two slices of cheese. And if that doesn't seem like an important life-saving thing to have done for you, then you can just totally skip it. I think that's my rice in the Instant Pot. Hold on one second. <laughs> Something di di different with dinner that's happening. But anyway, for me as a busy mama, uh, if this was just full of prepped, ready-to-go grilled cheese sandwiches, then I could say to a kid, get the griddle out or get the baking sheet out and do those today for lunches. It's just a quick time savings for a future day coming up. I don't know about you, but you know, days are busy, right? Right, okay. So, the thing is though, it's been a couple days. <laughs> we've, we've had some grilled cheese, haven't we? So I don't have my original big pack. So I'm gonna, woo, gonna make all I can with this. And then I thought I would do uh, my peanut butter and jellies in the freezer, which I have not done in, a, in quite a while. Um, but like Benjamin, he just, he loves peanut butter and jelly. Everybody, all the kids love it. So again, helpful to have ready, ready to go. Usually when I do these, I do them in individual baggies. So I can, you know, set out 12 sandwiches in a bowl the night before and I know lunch is done tomorrow. But this go round, I'm gonna just save them again in the loaf bag. I think that makes sense for my life right now. As far as freezer burn, these will not be here a month from now. With field chips and now roller skating and rollerblading has started. We had one homeschool group last week. We've got another homeschool group coming up. These are already gone. So I'm gonna take just a few minutes now this evening before dinner is done and prep these ahead for the coming week. So we got three loaves of the cheese. So again, grilled cheese sandwiches, or I have also defrosted these, and then the day of, the kids could add turkey or ham and any condiments they wanted if you just wanted them to be mostly prepped um, for meat and cheese sandwiches. But as an example, I would say, hey Liam, set out a bag of the grilled cheese, <laughs> and he could do these on the griddle, or we've done the sheet pan grilled cheese bunch too saves us a few steps. So now, not part of large family freezer cooking pack 11, but just part of mama freezer meal prepping. I'm gonna now just sit here and roll through doing four loaves of peanut butter and jelly, and we'll get those in the freezer. And again, I'm gonna also freeze those right back in the sandwich bag and see how that works out.
Alrighty, so three bags of grilled cheese, like I said, about 36 or so. We got 24 peanut butter and jellies. This is not a full loaf, and I'm gonna actually put this marked in my refrigerator now. And it will be eaten over the next few days, even though there's not a plan for it right now. I got a loaf and a half of others, but dinner time now here, so I'm gonna tidy up, get these except for that one in the freezer, and I'll be back shortly. Will it be today? I don't know, but I will be back, and we will do those baked turkey meatballs, which are also great to have in the freezer. Alrighty, friends, it is finally low-carb, woo, low-carb turkey meatball time. Something for everybody in this freezer cooking. So, my bowl needs rinse, though. Really wow. quick. Yeah, Tobin. Naomi's sitting over here feeding Tobin some pumpkin for me, pumpkin and applesauce. So, we might hear Tobin talking to us. Alrighty, so we need six pounds of ground turkey. There's no pretty way to do this. Wash my hands, got my jewelry off. Tobin's fussing for that pumpkin. <laughs> and okay, looking at my notes here. Three eggs, one cup of almond flour, half a cup of oil, four tablespoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons onion powder, tablespoon of rosemary. I don't have any. I'm going to do basil instead. Three tablespoons of parsley. So, improvising, of course. And let me get my. See, in the new kitchen, we won't have this. We'll have drawers we pull out, right? Right, that's how that's gonna go. Okay. Of course, now we're getting going my battery light's beeping at me, so let's take care of business here. We're back, and we have a battery, yay. All right, eggs. I won't wait on eggs, actually. Just cause, save the uh, extra hand washing to the end. All right, first load of turkey meatballs going in the oven. Yeah, 
and two more pans of turkey meatballs. Alrighty, fifth pan of meatballs. I've got just a little bit of meat left. I've been trying to squeeze them on. So uh, I'm gonna try to add them to a few more pans I have ready, just cause, I mean, look at that. It's like two meatballs left now. These other ones are getting ready to come out in one minute. So these will not be here much longer. Well, friends, thank you for joining me for all of this super mega freezer cooking <laughs> that this mega mama has been doing. We have all kinds of wonderful, yummy lunches in our freezer. I am also going to have another video coming out where I cook up the rest of the pack. We did a whole bunch and there's a whole bunch more left to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, be sure to click the first link in the description below and join me in the very special large family table community where the doors are open for just a limited time. Then they will not be open again for quite a while. So join me now for lots of extra fun. Mm -hmm.